We're going to take a look at several Mugo pine varieties today. This is the Pumalo variety. We're also going to look at Big Tuna, and we've got another one called Tannenbaum, which are some upright varieties. But if you choose to keep your Mugo pines small, which, by the way, Mugo pines are a great evergreen for the northern plains, very cold tolerant. But if you choose to keep them small, which we've done on this one for almost 12 years now, kept it in this pincushion fashion, and what we wait for in the spring is these candles to emerge. And just to where the point where they're starting to open up, that's where we want to go ahead and get in here with the head shears. We're going to clip those candles back about halfway to two thirds. Now it's a pretty quick process to do this if you've got a nice sharp head shears. As I mentioned, this thing's about 12 years old and it was potted from a little number two pot out of the nursery can. But take a look at this Pumalo variety. This is also about 12 years old, planted in a different location. And look at that, it's at about its natural mature size, right around four feet with an eight foot spread. So, you know, it's really up to you if you want to keep these things small, but each year you let those candles open, you've lost that one year because you really can't go back too far into that mugo pine before you're into some really, really ugly dead growth. Here we've got Tannenbaum mugo pine, starting to reach kind of its mature height up around that 10 to 12 foot by about a six foot width. Now we're not gonna do any shearing on this. I'm actually after the natural form on this. Beautiful little upright pine tree, great for the Northern Plains, as I mentioned before. Here we've got another smaller Tannenbaum mugo pine that if you wanted to start keeping this on a much smaller shape, Christmas tree type version, you certainly could. It's just a matter of starting to cut those candles back and you can even bite into the branch if necessary. Not gonna hurt the plant, but you'd have to start doing it each season. Let's take a look at that big tuna and that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna start shearing that thing even into some of the branching. So here's big tuna. One of my favorite names, isn't that great? Big tuna, who came up with that? Um, but it's a, it's a mugo pine that can get about five to six feet tall. And even when you've been planting a long time and you know better, for some reason I put this big tuna under this thornless cockspur hawthorn. Now there's just no way that these two are gonna look good together unless we keep it small. So my thinking at the time, I have to believe, I, I plan on keeping this quite small. I let it get a little bit too big, but I think we're gonna be able to still keep it in that confined space. So here we go, we're gonna actually be chopping right into some of those branches, not just the candles, to get that form I'm talking about. You can see the pollen dust just disappearing there. We're pretty close there. So we'll be able to hold this form for quite some time. What's gonna happen is we're gonna have lateral buds are gonna start forming down a little bit lower. And over time, over the years, we're gonna get more and more candles and they'll be just as thick as that pumelo variety we took a look at first. And then it'll become just a super tight Christmas tree. None of these gaps anymore. And while we're on the subject of Mugo Pines, this is Highland Splendor that I'd like to mention. This is a North Dakota State University variety introduction, considered to grow about 20% faster. I believe it's got a little tighter form, but I got my early training at NDSU, so anytime I get my hands on a North Dakota State University introduction, I'm gonna do so. So looking forward to watching this one grow, but very similar to Tannenbaum, might be difficult in the future to even tell them apart if you didn't know. We'll just mention a couple other varieties real quick too. Here in the foreground, we've got Valley Cushion Mugo Pine. It's a nice little slow growing one. I've left it natural. We're not doing that shearing where you get that tight shape. And in the background there, we've got Jacobson Mugo Pine. It's an interesting little bonsai 
effect mucopine pine that grows like that naturally. If you take a close look, we do have just a little bit of burning or shed in there, but perhaps that's what the Jacobson does, and that's what gives it that natural bonsai effect by shedding some of those inner needles. We've made the round and we're next to one more of the Pinus mugo pumulo varieties. So whether you decide to keep them small or let them go and get their natural size, that's up to you. But if you like that pin cushion look, wait for those candles to emerge and get out there and make sure you get them clipped back at the proper time. Thanks for watching Garden Hike.